Okay, in this video, we're taking a look at a star projector. It is actually sitting right over here. So check out a couple of images first, and then uh, we'll make it a little more dark than it already is. Take a little closer look at this. Talk more about it. All right, so as stated, we're taking a look at this like star projector, laser projector type deal. And it does include a multifunction remote. You can adjust uh, like the speed and the display of the different patterns. You can turn off and on like the little green starry lights that are an option. Uh, turn the device off and on. You can adjust the volume, tracks. Uh, it has Bluetooth capabilities, so it's actually paired with my phone at the moment. Uh, Double A batteries are required. They are not included, so keep that in mind. And it does have a little user manual here. And everything's packaged, like the little remotes in this. The device is in plastic and it has foam. And there's foam inside the box, so it's packaged pretty well. Should be pretty protected. Hopefully it doesn't arrive broken. Of course, that's always a possibility. But uh, So just a little box that it comes in. And I don't think there's anything else in here. Yeah, just the foam insert, so nothing there. So the projector itself, I've actually taken a look at several of these over many years, and this one's probably the most impressive as far as the actual amount of output uh, on the actual uh, ceiling here. So I have a, I'd say fairly large room here. It's about 25 uh, feet uh, long and about 15 feet wide roughly. And at night when it's completely dark, this thing will pretty much cover just about the entire area of this room, which is very impressive because most cover a relatively small portion right in the general vicinity of where you are projecting from. So it does have a little bit of a sound to it when it's uh, spinning, so the sort of this nebula smoke-like look that it projects occurs. That may be annoying to some people, but if you're playing music, through this device or even in the room through some other speaker perhaps, it will probably most likely cover that sound enough that it won't annoy most people and a lot of people won't be bothered by it really. I'm not really bothered by it. I know other people are bothered by different little sounds. So there's a little bit of sound. Uh, it does have buttons on the actual unit you can control. So you can change the Bluetooth mode, you can change the tracks, you can play in pause, turn off and on the green uh, light as far as the little stars, the little uh, laser stars as you'll see in a moment and uh, you know a few other different things so the pictures and images in the link below the video will detail more but like I'm just letting you know there are controls on the device so if your batteries were to die or you did misplace this it wouldn't be a problem so the device itself comes with a micro USB cable so that's how you're going to power it and I don't know if you can see it's kind of got this almost like a boat type shape because it like a V shape. Now the good thing about that is actually I found that if I sit it like this on my nightstand I can get a better projection in the area where I'm looking more so when I'm laying in bed in a comfortable position. So that kind of makes it nice because you know you do have different angles where you can sit it flat of course. There's a speaker so that's where your uh, audio is going to come from. Definitely not going to be the best sounding speaker you've ever heard but it's fine for a kid or something. You have a USB port, so you can actually play music from a USB thumb drive, which is a pretty cool option. So let me actually turn the light off in here so I don't have the extra lighting for the uh, video shoot going right now because I want to turn the light off in here so you can see better what this is capable of. Uh, there's also a sound detection mode. There's a button on the remote and on the uh, device. So if you click on that, it's going to shut the device off seemingly, but it's not. 
it just puts it into a sound detection only mode so that it only illuminates when sound is detected. So that's an interesting mode uh, for some people potentially. All right, you can also have it static, which is, as you can see right now, it's sort of static, there's no movement. You can also have it moving. Anyway, I'm gonna shut the light off, show you some of the different uh, available options so you can see what it looks like, get a little better idea. Alexa, turn off office. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to set it like that because that actually is pretty good as far as the actual view. Um, now if I power this off, so you can see it's relatively dark in this room. So that's what it would look like with it off. Bluetooth mode. In Bluetooth mode. Bluetooth connection. Bluetooth connected, so it automatically repaired to my phone and if you look I don't know how well it'll show up but you've got the green stars and then you've got like a blue green a red and almost a white smoky nebula type of effect like a space nebula I suppose um, as far as like artist renditions and things it's what I'm it's what I'm reminded of uh, also, I say, it kind of reminds me of smoke, so it's kind of interesting. Uh, if I hit the sound detection mode, you can see it's actually off, or seemingly off. But if I tap on it, or on the desk, it detects it. It doesn't detect my voice unless I'm right here. So I have to get kind of close, or I have to be sort of loud, like purposefully. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off. Right now, the stars you can have those off, you can have those fade in and out, or you can have those static where they just stay on if you wanted to. So that's kind of a nice option. And then, if you turn off, like I don't know if you can really hear that sound, but there's a little bit of a hum that comes from the motor. So you can actually just have it, you know, have the stars only. And you can turn those off or on, have those uh, you know, fade in and out, or just have them static as stated before. I kind of like just leaving it like that though. You get that smoky effect. And the stars combined. So pretty interesting. As far as the speaker goes, See if I can play. And I believe that said it was at maximum volume. And my phone's volume is probably around 90%. So definitely not very loud, but that might be fine. Because if you're using this, like, let's say on the nightstand for your child, you want something more calming and soothing and quiet. You don't necessarily want something super loud. Um, but yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty interesting little device. Um, this is as far as I can get it to reach. This USB, is, the USB cord is a little over three feet, so you actually have pretty decent placement. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if the camera can pick that up, but there's a little bit of a a whining sound to the actual motor as it turns, but it's very low. Let's say it's not very noisy. And again, this thing uh, turned at a certain angle is able to project for me uh, and fill a room that's 15 feet wide and 25 feet long. It fills it fairly well. Um, I won't say it fills the entire room, but it definitely fills at least 10 feet of the width and probably around 20-ish uh, feet of the length. So that's a considerable amount and better than most. So overall, pretty nice. Um, let me show you something else real quick. Alexa, turn mm -hmm. on office. Okay.
Alright, so I went ahead and powered that off. Unplug it. Just want to be able to get a little closer so you can see the device in a little bit more detail. Of course, it does have a little warning for the lasers, for the little, you know, laser pieces. Now, the only thing I would really change, I mean, obviously there's improvements that can be done on the speaker, but again, that's really not necessarily a big deal. But the only thing I would probably really change is because the controls are all located right here on the front, I would m wish that they had moved this to the back side or maybe they could have put it underneath perhaps. I don't know. It just seems kind of weird to have it here. I guess it makes sense. It's cheaper to manufacture with all the buttons, the USB port, and the micro USB for power all in one place. But reflo uh, <coughs> excuse me, reflo uh, relocating either one of those two, at least the power to the back, would probably be ideal. But you can see this is the portion that has the little uh, spinny port uh, parts that makes that little nebula smoke-like. And then here's your little laser that gives you a little green. Um, there's all the buttons. They are labeled, but it's pretty difficult to see those. So you won't be able to see that very well. And other than that, it's pretty much it. And there is your multifunction remote. You can speed up and slow down the effects and different things. Set the timers. Uh, turn it off and on. You do have to point it at it. And I have I may have possibly some weak batteries, but I have to kind of deliberately pointed at it and be in somewhat close, uh, close proximity. So your mileage may vary, but by any means, I just want to share that with you. I think this is probably one of the more interesting, better uh, that I've taken a look at as far as the amount of output. So that makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, definitely fun for kids. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to share that with you really quickly. I'll leave a link below. You can check out more. Thanks for watching.